back with us on the cafe. Now Dave Baxter first picked up a guitar aged nine years old and he hasn't stopped playing music since. From 2011 he's performed as Avalanche City with number one singles Love 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 and Inside Out as well. Now the band's nationwide Little Fire Tour begins in Blenheim tomorrow. Dave thank you so much for coming in. Oh you're welcome thanks for having me. Now the Little Fire name because I saw a photo of you on Instagram yesterday I think it was in front of a huge pile of firewood. <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. That's that. That would be a big fire. That would probably get out of control. I'm not going to lie. Was it an actual fire? Was that your fire? It was. It was bigger than a house. Oh yeah, it's massive. Yeah, it's, it's firewood from our from our orchard. Yeah. Actually, speaking of which, because we're going to talk music and stuff very soon, but let's just find out because we just heard before you're into the avocado farming. Yeah. So we just got a, a, a orchard um, down in Tauranga, and um, I'm so looking forward to hanging out and eating guacamole and we actually grow avocados and limes so we're calling it the guacamole farm. See this is perfect and also avocados it's like it's a license to print money at the moment. I, it is! <laughs> it's insane! Yeah. You'll be making it rain! Yeah yeah just minting that money yeah. If you haven't already made it rain though with your song Love 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 because this song I think every New Zealander knows in fact many people all around the world know because it became a huge hit and then it was picked up by a TV2 here wasn't it, it became the That's station right. song. Yeah. Do you ever get sick of hearing it? Um, <laughs> yeah. Be honest. I, 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 it. I don't. I don't like. I don't. Obviously, I don't listen to it anymore. I mean, I don't like listen to my music as soon as it's released. I, I stop listening to it. Really? Um, yeah, totally. And um, but uh, I, I, I always enjoy playing it. Like I, I hate practicing it. But when you play a song live, the audience reaction kind of makes the song fresh again. So yeah. How do you feel though when you've got a song that's I, I would say institutionalised in New Zealand as one of the great anthems wow, of this country? Thank you. It's such a uh, yeah. Keep going. No, yeah, no, no, I, I, I totally think it is. And you Hate know, to the avocados. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, but, you know, how does that make you feel? Uh, I've, I try not to think about that. Yeah, like um, it's it's not something that you know, like a, you release it, it, it goes really well, and, and you move on to the next thing. Yeah, so I haven't really thought about that. It's not something that you sit down and be like, wow, I'm an institution. How does that I'm pretty like? awesome. <laughs> <laughs> not a big deal. Oh, you should try it sometime. Here goes. So, when you're traveling around the world, um, your songs are everywhere now. Where is the most unusual place that you've stood and gone, that's me playing? Or you've heard your music? Uh, um, I was in Japan actually, and um, we were in like a, in a convenience store and just buying like something. A drink and, and it came on the radio and we were just like wow. And did you want to say to someone, hey, that's me? I, feel, I filmed that. it. I was like, I'm in a convenience store and it's playing. Um, but I think the craziest. I've, I've had a couple of crazy stories. Some of them are ones a person from Yemen heard it on the radio. Wow. wow. One one of my friends was a tour guide in in Europe and he was in the Greek islands at this massive like thousands and thousands of people like outdoor rave and a trance remix of Love, Love, Love. Oh. <laughs> and he lost his mind and like texted me straight away. <laughs> that is cool. Yeah, Very crazy. Cool. Okay, and what have you been doing in the last six months? Because last year you released your new album, which I love, by the way. Can I just say, I bought two albums outright last year. One was Adele and the other one was this what? one. Hey, from that's Avalanche great. City. That's yeah. He works in the industry. He doesn't buy his albums. No, no, yeah, yeah, that's right. No, but, um, this came out last year. And I think everyone in the audience, you are getting a copy each as well. And it's so yeah, how cool is that? Awesome, thank you so much. Yeah, no, I do, I love it, I really do love it. So Thanks. what are you going to do, are you going to go on tour? You yeah, to tour oh, so, uh, so for the last six months um, I've been, well, actually I was just in Canada um, talking to some uh, booking agents over there, so we'll sort out some tours in Canada and LA as well, um, which I feel like I'm always in LA, I just do like songwriting there. And um, and then yeah, come back. I'm doing a NYLD thing at the moment, which is National Young Leaders Day. We're going around the country and um, speaking at uh, these big event centres where the um, high schools and primary schools send their kids to. And it's just about we kind of teach them, we tell them about how we came to where we are, and, wow. and like it's all about sort of being a leader. That sounds um, great. And then uh, at the same time, my tour starts, so the tour is sort of going. Of course. At the same time. So tell us about the tour dates. Yes. So um, this is exciting because last last year I did a I did a tour. The on screen, yeah. Um, and um, 
and we could only do Auckland, Wellington, Christchurch, Dunedin, and we couldn't fit in any of the smaller towns, which I love visiting the smaller towns in New Zealand. So this is what this tour is. It's, it's going back through the country. It's driving around New Zealand and just, you know, having nice. a good time. Having a good old time. Yeah, having a good old time. Yeah. And honestly, you should go and check these guys out because I do. I love Avalanche City. Um, all the details at avalanchecity.com. Yes. That where you can get all the ticket details Excellent. from. Yep. Uh, nice work. And really looking forward to some avocados next time. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. With the right. new album, which I'm even going to ask you when your new album's out, because you always say next year, and it can sometimes it can be four years from then. So yeah. it's been a pleasure, David. It's out next year. year. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see you back next year with the avocados.